Hello guys, welcome back. Now today, I want to talk about the NHL compared to the NBA when it comes to the parity in the league. I want to make this video because the finals for both leagues are about to start. One for the NHL about to start tonight, and the NBA going to start in a few days here. So it's approximately a lot. It's a short time between the two, and I just wanted to focus a light on how they both compare when it comes to parity in the league. So what is parity? The dictionary says, the status or condition of being equal, especially regarding status or pay. And in sports terms, it usually just means that it's an even playing field, and when its league has good parity, it usually means that a team doesn't win four Stanley Cups or four NBA Finals in a row. It usually means that dynasties are less likely to happen. And comparatively, between the NHL and the NBA, the NHL has been prioritizing parity throughout the last 15 or so years. They've introduced the sal hard salary cap, which the NBA doesn't have as a luxury tax. It basically means a luxury tax is you can go over the cap as much as you want, but you have to ta you have to pay a luxury tax on however much you're above the cap room. With the NHL, you literally cannot go above that hard cap or else you're basically screwed. The NHL is also focused on revenue sharing, letting the teams like Arizona and Florida get as much money as they can from other teams. Of course, the revenue sharing, it balances out the money flow throughout as much as it can. Everybody knows Toronto, the Maple Leafs have the just amount, so much amount of money that's pretty much crazy while Arizona Coyotes are struggling, but it evens it out a little bit more there. And just overall, the NHL has been focusing smaller in the smaller things to help the smaller teams have a lot more of a chance than the NBA ever could. So let's look at the last 10 finals. We'll start with the NBA and we'll start with the NHL, and then we'll go to the NHL. We'll go and we'll go for the last 10 finals for each league here. So starting with the 07-08 season where the Celtics took on the Lakers and beat them in six games. And that next season you had the Lakers winning against the Magic in 4-1 four, one, four in that series in the 08-09 season. In the 09-10 season, it was a rematch of that 2008 season with the Lakers beating the Celtics in seven games. Then in the 10-11 season, you had the Mavericks beating the Miami Heats 4-2 in that series. Uh, and then you had the next year 11-12 where you had the Heat beating the Thunder, uh, then you have in 12-13 beat, Heat beating the Spurs in 13-14 and the Spurs coming back and beating the Heat in 14-15 you had the Cat Warriors versus Cavaliers and they had Warriors winning 15-16 you had the Cavaliers winning against the Warriors in 16-17 you had the Warriors winning against the Cavaliers and of course we know that the Cavaliers are in the finals this year as well so if the Warriors win that game 7 against Houston we could see the same finals matchup for, for 4 years straight and honestly that that is just atrocious. And having the same NBA Finals for the fourth fourth time in four straight years is just bad for me as a fan. It might be good for the NBA, but it's bad for me as a fan. I'm a Mavericks fan, but even so, I know the team is crap, but I would still watch the NBA if it was entertaining to me and if it still had some amount of parity here. To me, it's not the fact that the Mavericks are crap that has determined me away from the NBA. It's the thing where we're close to four straight years with the same teams in the final that just gets me all ramped up. If you look at the NBA Finals, there's three teams, the Warriors, Cavaliers, and Heat. Those three teams date back all the way, straight all the way towards the 10-11 season where the Mavericks beat the Heat. But that is seven straight years where the either the Warriors, the, the either the Warriors, Cavaliers, or Heat have been in the finals. That is just bad. And yeah, you definitely like it if you're a fan of that team, but if you are a fan of a bad team, a bad team that's been there for a long time, you really have no hope, can you? And it might be even worse to be a fan of, let's say, the Boston Celtics or in the last 10 or 7 or so year seasons. It might be a bad, bad situation because, well, you know your team is good, but they might never get over that hump of the Cavaliers or the Warriors or the whatever. It's just, it's just draining. You know your team is good, but they can never get past LeBron or the Steph Curry. And that's the main thing for me. It's just, it's just like the parody is not existent with the NBA. With the NHL, it still is. It, it's bad, but with the NBA, it's pretty much not even there. But enough about me rambling about the NBA. Let's focus on to the last 10 Stanley Cup Finals for the NHL. We'll start with the 07-08 season, where the like, Red Wings faced off against the Penguins, and the Red Wings won that in six games. Then in the 08-09 season, he had the Penguins beating the Red Wings in, in six game, or seven games. So he had two straight, uh, I guess, Stanley Cup, Stanley Cup Finals, where it was the same teams. That's that's pretty bad there. But you go to the 09-010 season, where it was Blackhawks versus the Flyers. They won, they, the Blackhawks won in six 
six games. Then you go to the 10-11 season where, of course, it was Bruins versus Canucks, and the Bruins winning in seven games. Then you have the Kings versus Devils in that next season, and the Kings winning in six games. And in 12-13, you have the Blackhawks versus the Bruins, and the Blackhawks winning 6-2, or six or 4-2 there. Uh, in the 13-14 season, you have the Kings facing off against the Rangers, and the Kings won in five games. In the 14-15 season, you have the Blackhawks versus the Lightning, and the Blackhawks winning in six games. And then the 15-16 season, you have the Penguins versus Sharks. The Penguins winning in six games. Then you have the Penguins versus Predators in the 16-17 season, with the Penguins winning 4-2. And of course, in this next Stanley Cup final, you got the Capitals versus the Golden Knights. And even though the NHL has been prioritizing the parity in the league, it hasn't affected things too much. There have been some pretty great teams that have won multiple Stanley Cups in the last 10 years. But even saying that, it is so much better than what the NBA is right now. Yes, the Kings won two Stanley Cups, Blackhawks won three Stanley Cups, and the Penguins won three Stanley Cups. But at the same time, there's been a lot less dynasties, even if you count those three cups. But there's just been a lot, there's been more teams circling around that Stanley Cup final than there has been ever in the NBA. And even if you have those same Stanley Cup champions with the Penguins, Blackhawks, and the Kings, with the NHL, there's a lot of guy, there's a lot of teams that lost in the Stanley Cup final that never were seen back again. With the NBA, it's like a team would lose and uh, be in the Stanley Cup final for three more years with like the Warriors and the Cavaliers. It's pretty insane there. But with the NHL, you have a lot of less, I guess, repeated Stanley Cup finals. There aren't a lot of rematches. It's been dating back since 0 07 0, or 2008 season to 2009 season. That was the last time where it was the same. Stanley like a final two times in a row. And for the NBA, we're really close to it being four NBA finals with the same two teams in a row, which again is just mind boggling. And obviously, the NBA hasn't done a great job of creating parity throughout the league, and I don't think that's their main focus. It's really building up those stars in LeBron James and the Steph Currys, while the NBA or the NHL is more prioritizing about having the lesser teams and not having the same teams every single time, even though it hasn't done a great job in that either. But even in the smaller things, we've seen a lot more different teams cycling throughout the playoffs in the NHL playoffs rather than the NBA playoffs. We see a lot of the time the same teams year after year making the playoffs with the NBA, while in the NHL it's a little bit more diverse every single year. And you definitely see a lot of teams cycling throughout the playoffs. You'll see like the New York Rangers make it three times in a row or something like that. And then this year, they'll just drop off completely. You see a lot of that happening with the NHL where it's just a circling. It's just like cycle when it comes to NHL teams making the playoffs. With the NBA, it just isn't quite that. And even if the NBA hasn't hurt from these almost four finals in a row where it's the same two teams, I think that if it continues, if it's either Golden State or Cleveland in the next three seasons, if it keeps continuing like that, I think it will start to hurt them in the long run. And it definitely shows the strength of a league for the NBA that it hasn't hurt them already. If it continues, I think they can't really overcome that. With the NHL, they've done a decent job with it, but with the NBA, it's just been bad, but the NHL hasn't been great with it either. It has prioritized it, but when it comes to the Stanley Cup champions on paper, it hasn't been great on it, and it still needs work. But when comparing these two leagues, it's it's not great with a parity for either one, so it's like comparing something to bad things and choosing the one that's less bad. So yes, obviously looking at this, both both leagues need a bit of work here. So while honestly the NHL is doing a better job of it, they still need to do a lot better job of it, and I don't even think the NBA cares too much about it until the, until the ratings start dropping. But even if you disagree with me, you can definitely agree with me that both leagues need a bit of work when it comes to the parity department. But that's going to be it for the guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. Tell me down below what you think of this. What do you think of the NHL parity compared to the NBA's parity? Who do you think is doing better in that department? And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Thank you.